Alright everyone, Pierre here and today's uh, tutorial will be on how to make your VR chat PC avatar into a quest compatible avatar and also keeping it uh, just basically the basic process of what you want to do. So what you want to do is um, obviously have a model that's already pre-rigged uh, as humanoid and if you don't know what pre-rigged humanoid is uh, you go to here, you rig this as from, it's usually from generic, but you want to put this as humanoid. Configure that, whatnot. And once you're done with that, you have it. And uh, this is my way of doing um, PC to Quest. Uh, what you want to do is go to the materials of your PC avatar. Uh, this, like, Generally, you want like four of what VHI wants, but we all know most of us don't atlas our materials, or at least I don't really most of the time. And uh, by default, um, I just set them to like something like that as a placeholder. I'll I'll get into detail of the specific shaders I personally want to use, but like for now, just put them as is, like this. So all your materials, and I do mean all, like all of these um, materials to be from Payomi or any PC shader you have, like Payomi or Arctune or Soul Shader, to something VRChat, just something VRChat shader. Because the moment you go to the quest build, even if you have like the most beefiest uh, computers, you will struggle to change Payomi to VR chat, and it will take you maybe 30 minutes per material, probably, or longer. But yeah, what you want to do now is go to the build setting and click on Android. And you don't have the screen, it's probably telling you like, uh, APK not found, please download it. Here, there's going to be a link, you click that link, uh, and then you'll go through that Android setup and then once you can you'll see that the switch platform is open leave everything here as default you don't need to do anything but uh yeah just switch platforms and it's gonna go through your whole project and I do mean your whole project so you have like five ten avatars and you're gonna be here for like 30 minutes and another thing I do is uh, I delete my poem shaders before converting and then I re-import Poyomi back because importing Poyomi takes like 30 seconds versus versus the whole versus the whole 5 minute buffer, 10 minute buffer it does when converting to Quest and that's usually worth it for me and plus it saves my settings, if not I can just redo it, it's not the biggest deal but I delete my Poyomi shader but yeah obviously you want to log in to your stuff, which I will do, which you should do, by the way, once you log in. But yeah, once you have it, click on Android, switch platforms. Alright, once your stuff is done with Android, we want to go back to our materials. So, go back to materials, and I will explain a little bit more in depth on how you should choose your Shader really. So for something like uh, with this model that has like a bunch of normal maps, and it does have a bunch of normal maps, and uh, so generally standard light is good. Um, like you can change like the smoothness, and I'll just generically do it this like if you want the like super shiny look to it or that metallic metallic something like that too that works or you can also use um from what i heard uh so with standard light it takes account with like the environmental lighting a little bit so it's going to have like a tint of yellow because currently my uh, directional light is yellow and if i were to change this 
Uh, let's just say it's like, as you can see, it tinted um, red at the moment because this is in sound line and it takes account with some level of the environment. So once you have your uh, standard uh, or bumped, um, doesn't matter which one, it just one has emission and one doesn't have emissions really. That's about all the difference I know of. But yeah, putting your normal maps if you have normal maps, but if you say don't have normal maps and it's like a typical like anime-esque sort of stuff, what you could do as well is give it that like that tune look. And once you give it that tune look to it, um, it's like one of the more optimized shader because it doesn't have to do with um, the environmental lighting at all. Like, well, a little bit. Okay, I kind of light there, but yeah, for the most part, it's super bright. It'll give you that Pyumi look. Well somewhat Pyumi look that you're used to. And after that you can just simply you can just pretty much simply just import this model and export it to VRChat as fine. And uh, if you do for whatever reason use particles um, here I'll just create something random um, where is it effects. Say you have random particles right and I'll just create a random material. Make whatever these particles are, what you want to do is go to here and go to the particles and use additive. It I don't know why you want to use particles on quest, but if you want your particles to be quote unquote quest friendly, even though it's still gonna look like JPEGs, that's how you make it quest friendly. It'll work in worlds if you put this in, in a world instead of an avatar. It'll work, but generally not in avatars. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you get a PC avatar to quest with all the material swapping all you need to do.